Hey guys, Andy here. So I think anyone that's watching this video probably knows who Xiaomi are. They are known for, I wouldn't call them sort of cheap or budget, but I think it might be more accurate to say they're known for their value because you can spend four or 500 pounds on a Xiaomi phone and that's not cheap and that's not really necessarily budget, but you're gonna get amazing specs because it is known for its value. They had a sale a couple of weeks ago where you could get 20% off any devices. So I was having a look through, so anything I fancy giving them a play with. I noticed they had a Redmi Go for £80. So here it is. Um, so £80, less than 20%, so £64 I paid. And then there's some postage. It basically came out at £68.89 for an Android running smartphone. But is it usable? Let's find out. So as we move on to talk about the device, I'm gonna leave down here in the corner that this thing costs 68 pounds, 69 I guess you could say, because you're gonna need reminding that it's only 69 pounds. Uh, if we start off with the design, it's a fairly simple design. We've got actual touch buttons along the bottom. It's a fairly plain back. It's very faintly got the Mi logo, I don't know if you can see that in some of the text at the bottom, it's really quite faint speaker grill, micro USB, um, the SIM slot and micro SD card slots down the one side, and it's dual SIM, and the volume rocker and power at the other, and the 3.5 mil headphone jack. Uh, solid camera on the back as well, I didn't mention that. Uh, but it's, it is simple, it's 139 grams, it's 8.4 millimeters thin or thick, however you wish to look at it. The hardware itself is a Snapdragon 425, that's a 28 nanometer processor. Well, I don't say processor, chipset. 28 nanometer, I mean, we're getting seven nanometer these days, so it's, it's a cheap chipset. It's a quad core 1.4 gigahertz Cortex A53 CPU, it's an Adreno 308 GPU. It's one gig of RAM. One. Remember, yeah? 68 pound. Um, eight gig of storage. And I think this it doesn't come in higher spec, I'm fairly sure. This was it. This is all you're getting. Uh, what I do like, you can put the SD card in and you can merge that in to be the phone's memory. So I put a 128 gig storage card, I can pretty much now install whatever I want on it, which is good. All those specs get you a Geekbench 4 score of 1,650. I think that's like the second lowest I've ever got. So I even went back and found a Geekbench 3 APK and I scored 1,971 with that because that is what I divested, uh, that's what I tested devices from years back on. And even then it's right down at the bottom of the scale. It is not a powerful device by any means. Kind of obviously there's no NFC. There is a speaker, let's see if we can give you a demo. What have I got installed that plays? The Browns are on freaking prime time again. What's that, five times this year? Yeah. Holy shit, for a two win team. <laughs> You see what you got, everybody? All of this hype that you built up. Oh, look, we signed free Pharisee people. I keep listening to it. I think it's time to refresh your mind because the boys are back in town with a different kind of funk. Who got the funk? We Just because the microphone's up there, so I'm pointing the speaker at the microphone. Um, it's not a great speaker. The quality really isn't very good. Um, it scored 85.8 decibels on my test, which is pretty low. I don't mind if it's, well, no, you do want volume. You want, you want both volume and quality and it hasn't really got either. So remember, yeah. Uh, let's look at the screen. So let's bring up a YouTube video. So the screen is a five inch IPS LCD 720 by 1280. 
16 by 9 so about 296 pixels per inch which in itself I don't mind the Xiaomi Mi A3 only had a 720p screen and I think it was a fantastic screen um, it's got quite large bezels as you can see it's, but it's got a 69.1 percent screen to body ratio because of those bezels the viewing angles aren't actually that bad and we'll get to see perhaps just just bear with me here before before today's episode when i was younger applying for jobs that is all i focused on was how i would be an asset to whomever was considering hiring me what a way to make me live so I don't think it actually looks too bad. Like I said, the viewing angles are quite good. Um, the colours are reasonable. You know, they're reasonably punchy. You know, those reds are pretty strong. It's not a bad screen. At the same time, it only scored 282 lumens on my light meter. Couldn't even get to 300, which is what I use for the battery test, but we'll come to that. Um, I think it was the so second lowest it's ever a device has ever scored. So don't get me wrong, it's not a good screen, but actually when you're using the device, as long as you're not outdoors in the sun, it's okay, it's sort of acceptable. The camera, so 8 megapixel f2.0 HDR camera on the back, 5 megapixel f2.2 HDR front facing camera. Uh, the images are not great, they're not horrific, and to be fair, for things just like Instagram, where it's quite a small image anyway, you're probably okay. If you try and pixel peep a bit, then it's not going to look great. Um, in low light, the images were pretty horrific, if I'm honest. I think that's where processing power is needed to try and smart them up, and it just hasn't got it. Uh, it can do 1080p 30 frames per second in video, but that's quite shaky because there's no optical image stabilization. Um, they're quite grainy, and I'm trying to refer video, but yeah, I think at the end, low light obviously, again, was not good. Uh, software wise I keep trying to do gestures and basically there are any gestures the only gesture is double power button for the camera but software wise we're actually running if I can find it where is it gonna say there we go 8.1 oh, okay that's a little weird but it's actually oh there's an update <laughs> um, so let's not worry about that for the minute oh I keep no gestures no gestures but it's 8.1 go uh, that update won't be anything big, it perhaps be the latest security update, which at the moment, what are we on? 1st of February, so maybe I should run the update and check, because, yeah, so I think it is just the uh, security update, anyway. So we're on Android 8.1 Go edition. A lot of the apps like that YouTube one that we just saw is actually YouTube Go, you see Gmail Go, which I think are effectively web-wrapped apps. I think, which is not great. I mean, the YouTube app is actually much more limited. There's, there's no, I've got home and I've got downloads. That's kind of all I've got, which is not good. Um, same with a Google Assistant and Maps, they're all Go versions. In fact, some apps just weren't even available. Google Podcasts weren't even available. That's why I went with Spotify. Now, I don't use Spotify for literally years but google podcast which i would have thought is a fairly simple app isn't even available mario kart tour i wanted to put on there just to see if it could cope not available it didn't massively surprise me i suppose because you know it's quite a new game um so yeah software it is what it is i mean it's nice that it's stock android that's something to be sort of grateful for um but at the same time it's yeah yeah like with everything else mm. So it's a 3000 mAh Li-Ion battery. Now interestingly, having used this for a couple of days, I didn't use it as my main device, I just couldn't do that, and we'll come to it in the conclusion perhaps, but I kind of used it still. Um, and then it sat on my desk for three, four, five days, then I did a few more of my tests and things, it sat on the desk again. So I think I put AccuBattery on, and let's just see what it's telling me at the moment for how long. So it thinks it could last 103 hours with the screen off. That's pretty impressive. That's like six days, seven days, five days. What is that? Someone work it out. Oh yeah, so it'd be four or five days, won't it? Because 120 is gonna be five days. Um, 77 hours combined, only five hours and 45 with the screen on, which seems quite odd to have such a massive screen off time and such a short screen on time. But it did last on my desk 
four days or so, and then I did my battery test and it only scored 82%, which is an hour long, playing the video, loading web pages for an hour, 82%. Really isn't good. I mean, it's down there with other budget devices, to be expected, I suppose. But I just think it's quite weird to start contrast, and maybe because I've not got everything set up, therefore the standby time is a bit easier because it's not doing everything that a regular, one of my regular devices would do, I suppose. Um, so there we go. So it's a weird one. Is it worth the 80 pounds? I don't know. I think it might be suitable for your grandparents if they're not normally into smartphones. They don't really have smartphones and they've never had one before, perhaps. Maybe it's not bad. Or maybe for a child. I don't really know what age you start mobile phones at, but maybe it's the first smartphone for your kid. Um, but I, th I think the budget and the things, this sort of price you might be tempted to have is a backup device. And I don't think it's worth doing even for that because it is quite limited, it is quite slow, and anything you do with it, there are, um, it's just it, it's just not at a level that I would want, even as a backup device, to be taking video or photos or listening to podcasts, it would, it would just wind me up and I would wanna, I think, no, no, I need to get something better. And I think you're better off spending that bit more to go to something like the Xiaomi Mi A3, which I'm not sure if they are these days, 130, 140. I get, it's almost, twice the price, but it's another way of looking at it, it's only like 60 or 70 pounds more, and you've got a device you can actually use day to day. Um, so, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. But I would love to hear your thoughts, so please do put them in the comments down below. I do read all the comments, I'll reply if necessary. Hopefully you're already a subscriber, but if not, do subscribe. Have a look at some of the other videos I've done on my channel. Hopefully you'll enjoy those as much as you enjoy this, if you've enjoyed this. But for now, my name's Andy, and I'll catch you all again soon.